Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Book Club Picks. Um, these are some of the books that my afternoon book discussion has read in the past and tell you about the ones that we did and didn't like. So uh, the first book is called Shoes for Anthony. It's by Emma Kennedy and this is set during World War II. It's um, in a Welsh mining village and it's about a group of, of young boys that are living through the war that are trying to have a, a normal childhood in the midst of all this war. Um, it's uh, also about the struggle of the mining town. You know, there's during the war there's not enough food, they have their ration, and you know, all these things, horrible things are taking place, and also about how hard mining life was back then, still can be today. Um, and just the accidents in the war, or I'm sorry, in the mine, and explosions, people getting hurt. Um, so the main character, um, we kind of follow him and his family. His father works in the mine, his brother does. And um, in the midst of all this uh, comes this stranger. There's a plane crash that happens um, and the stranger arrives in their village um, and it kind of follows from there. It's kind of a mystery, um, very suspenseful at times. Um, just a really good story about childhood, about growing up and especially in the midst of war and we really had a lot to talk about. It was, you know, like I've said before, it was set over, you know, in, in England and <clears throat> So we, we enjoy those types of books about, you know, places that we were not familiar with and kind of their customs. And so really good book, uh, really enjoyed this one. So the next one is a Christian book. It's Lynn Austin, um, All Things New. It is set during the time after the Civil War, during Reconstruction, and it's actually set in the South. It's about a woman, um, you know, lost people in the war and how they're trying to rebuild their lives. Um, and it's how there's a lot of anger still there. There's, there's uh, northern officers, soldiers that are still occupying the south, some of the southern cities and kind of, kind of the conflict there and how they get along. and. It's, it's mainly about how God overcomes the hatred that still exists, even though the war is over. Um, and it also how the emancipated slaves, how they kind of build new lives, totally rebuild their lives basically from everything they've ever known. So it follows them also. It's, it was a really good story. Um, it's, you know, has a lot of action. There's romance and <laughs> we enjoyed this one. We always enjoy her books, though. She always writes a good story, so. Um, the next one, it's a smaller book. This one can be for adults, can be for teens, kind of walks that line. There's interest for both there. And it is The Aven Amazing Adventures of Aaron Broom by A.E. Hotchner. And it's kind of a smaller book. But it's a good story. It's set during the Depression. It follows a 12-year-old boy who's trying to <clears throat> prove his father is innocent of murder. His father, his father's been put in prison, and his mother is sick, so he's basically on his own. And it follows him. <clears throat> I believe it's set in St. Louis, is where it's set. Um, I don't know. It doesn't say now, but um. So it follows him all over the city from these like, you know, camps where people have to live because they don't have homes. And he's basically on his own. He's dodging the child welfare because they know he's on his own. Um, and all the while he's trying to gather evidence to prove that his father is innocent. So it's, it's really a good story. Um, and it kind of takes this innocence from, you know, it's from the 12 year old's point of view. 
So there's a lot of bad things happening that you kind of get these undertones of, but it's still from a child's point of view. So it kind of lessens, you know, doesn't bring it down as much as it could. It's still hopeful. Um, so it was, uh, it was just really a good story about how people survived during the Depression. So we really enjoyed this one also. It made for a good discussion. Um, the last book is Lady Maybe by Julie Clausen. Um, not sure if I'm saying that right, but this is also a Christian fiction. It opens up and there's been a carriage accident and there's a woman that's been injured. She doesn't remember who she is. So it kind of opens on a mystery and you gotta follow the character along and try to figure out with her what is going on. So it's really hooks you from the start. You wanna find out what happens. Um, don't really know who to believe, who to trust. You know, one of those rely unreliable narrators, I believe they call it, uh, type of books. There's a lot of good twists, there's a good mystery. It also takes on like some taboo topics. Um, you know, having children out of wedlock, which you don't read a lot, you know, in Christian fiction as much. It's not as, you know, look, looked on, not really um, one of the topics they discuss, but this one kind of takes it on and um, it's very interesting the way they do it. You know, the characters aren't perfect. They make mistakes and just shows that we're all human and that God still loves us and it's a redeeming story. So we really enjoyed this one also. She's always a good author. I've read others by her and she does. She takes on topics you don't normally see um, in Christian fiction and kind of, you know, makes, makes it um, where you can compare it to your life. So it gives you things to think about. So we, uh, we enjoyed her book as well and others by her. So um, if you'd like to read any of these books, um, there's copies at the library. Uh, you can go to BriggsLibrary.com, um, place holds, uh, see what other, other uh, books the authors have written. Um, you can also go to Overdrive and do ebooks and audiobooks. Um, so those are just a few of our picks, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.